It's Late Night with David Letterman. On Comic Strip Live. It's Caroline's Comedy Hour. It's a and an evening at the Improv. He is a very funny man, and he's making his network television debut right here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bill Kelly. Bill, come on. I, I know what you people out there with cable TV are thinking. I look pretty familiar, don't I? Yeah, that's right, I'm an installer. Yeah. A lot of jobs. I worked for Amtrak for a while. I was a designated driver. I quit my job at the Christian Science Church. I, I didn't like the health plan. I taught for a while at a high school for kids with learning disabilities, and no one ever knew until we had our football games because our cheerleaders were dyslexic. <laughs> they got to say, give me an M, give me an I, give me a K, give me an M, give me O, U, give me an S, give me E, what do you have? You know, no one knew. <laughs> it, uh, it was fun to watch them perform, though, because they would try to do the pyramid, and, and they'd start with one on the bottom. When I was 17, when I was 17, I got my girlfriend pregnant. I, you know, I introduced her to this real good-looking guy. <laughs> I am. Uh, I was, uh, I was on a date, uh, I was on a date once, and, uh, I was on a date once, and a girl called me popping a pimple. Yeah, I, I didn't think she was paying attention, but, you know, she apparently felt the pinching on her neck. I have this, uh, I have this reoccurring fantasy whenever I'm having sex, you know, that I'm with someone. <laughs> I was, um, actually, I was thinking, you know, if I had a quarter, if I had a quarter for every woman, uh, you know, I ever made love to, you know, I'd have 40 cents. <laughs> I have this habit, I always sleep in the nude which, you know, doesn't cause problems except on those really long flights. <laughs> I was on a plane the other day and I got a bit of a scare. I put on the headphones and all the music was by Leonard Skinner, Buddy Holly, Jim Croce, and Otis Redding. <laughs> Come from kind of a... Um, Weird family. I, uh, my cousin is an agoraphobic homosexual, so he's having real problems coming out of the closet. <laughs> my stepbrother is missing, so, you know, we put his picture on a carton of half and half. <laughs> my dad was, my dad was kind of, well, my dad, for years we thought my dad was a hunchback, but it turns out he just didn't know suspenders were adjustable. <laughs> we had a cat once, and it kind of tastes like chicken. <laughs> I was um, married, uh, married recently, and uh, my wife... My wife was real naive on our wedding night. She was a real blushing bride. She turned to me and said, you know, I've, uh, you know, I've, I've never done this with a man before. <laughs> yeah, you know, well, f fortunately I had. <laughs> Thank you very much. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bill Kelly. I was, um, I was an English major in college, and I had difficulty finding work when I graduated, actually. I was, uh, eventually got a job as an editor at Roger's Thesaurus. <laughs> that job was, what's the word? <laughs> it's 
kind of strange growing up when I was um, when I was 17. When I was 17 years old, I got my girlfriend pregnant. Yeah, I introduced her to this real good-looking guy. <laughs> Actually, I, um, I have this reoccurring fantasy. Whenever I'm having sex, that I'm with someone. <laughs> It was, a, um, it was a rough day. I, I just ended a long-term relationship for seven years. I had lived with a model. Okay, a mannequin. <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> do you know? Do you know? Do you know that five out of four Americans have troubles with fractions? <laughs> <laughs> and, and apparently some of you are here tonight. Uh, uh. I was married recently for this next joke. <laughs> My wife was real naive on our wedding night. She was a real blushing bride. She turned to me and said, you know, I've... Uh, I've never done this with a man before. You know, for fortunately I had. <laughs> which, which, which kept me out of the army, um, but, but got me in the Navy. So. <laughs> Is that a party? It was real crowded. My wife came up to me and said, someone's deodorant's not working. I said, yeah, don't look at me. I'm not wearing any. I took my grandmother to an antique sale and got $250. My cousin... My cousin is an agoraphobic homosexual, so he's having real problems coming out of the closet. <laughs> my dad. My dad was kind of a, a weird guy. Go figure. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> He used to put around the house doing odd jobs like fixing the fur on the cat. And I, uh, <laughs> I always remember he said, son, he said, yeah, you. He said, son, always remember it's always darkest, you know, at night. <laughs> you know, because basically he was an idiot. And uh, <laughs> this is true. This is true. For years, for years we thought my dad was a hunchback. But it turns out he just didn't know suspenders were adjustable. <laughs> That's it for me. Enjoy the rest of the show. Well, that is How about a nice hand for Mr. Bill Kelly? Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Uh, hi. Hi. Josh. I travel a lot. I, I was in Washington, D.C. I, uh, I went to the Kennedy Center uh, because, you know, they have a happy hour now. <laughs> I ordered that drink, uh, Sex on the Beach. <laughs> they wouldn't give it to me, so I took it. <laughs> I bought a Yugo. I bought a Yugo, because I, you know, I figured, what the hell, I have a coupon. <laughs> I was driving it, and I was pulled over by a police dog, and... Uh, <laughs> I just finished reading an interesting book, George Washington, The Man, The Bridge. <laughs> I got a book on communicable diseases and passed it along to some friends. <laughs> do you know? Uh, maybe I'll finish that. Do you know? Do you know that five out of four Americans have troubles with fractions? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
and, and apparently some of you are here tonight. Uh, had a rough day. I went to the bank this morning to check my balance and I fell off the roof. I took my grandmother to an antique sale and got $250. I'm a, little, uh, I'm a little upset, though. I flunked my volunteer fireman's exam. Yeah, I, th I threw up after only nine beers. I quit my job at the Christian Science Church. I didn't like the health plan. I was going to do this great joke on existentialism, but you know, I figured why. I spent my junior year in college abroad, but, you know, I never got quite used to the heels. <laughs> Actually, I had this habit. I was, um, I was sleep in the nude. Picturing that? <laughs> I have pictures. Um, no, I had this habit. I would sleep in the nude, which, you know, doesn't cause problems except on those really long flights. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking, yeah, I, was, I was thinking if I had a quarter for every woman I ever made love to, I'd have 40 cents. <laughs> So my mom, my mom told me, my mom always said, my mom said, you ought to marry, you know, the first person you ever have sex with. You know, right, like I'm going to marry my Cub Scout leader. <laughs> I, I didn't even get a merit badge. <laughs> It was, um, it was my anniversary uh, last week or whenever, and um, <laughs> I was there. And uh, hey, for anniversary, for anniversary, I've been married for whatever, 12, 11, whatever years. And for anniversary, my wife asked for something that would really make her feel like a woman. You know, so I got her a frying pan. And, <laughs> and I asked for something that would really make me feel like a man, and, and she hit me in the crotch with it. <laughs> That's it for me. Enjoy the rest of the show. So please help me welcome back Bill Kelly. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Where are you guys now? Good to see you. Hi. It was, uh, I, I just, it was a rough uh, day. I just, uh, I just ended a long-term relationship. For seven years, I had uh, lived with a model. Okay, a mannequin. Uh, I cut myself shaving this morning. You know, which is the reason why I'm wearing long pants. I bought a Yugo. I bought a Yugo because, you know, I figured, what the hell, I have a coupon. <laughs> I was driving it. I was driving it. I was pulled over by a police dog. <laughs> Didn't give me a ticket or anything like that. Just peed in my tires. When I was 17, I had a rough, when I was uh, growing up, it was rough too, when I was 17, when I was 17 years old, I got my girlfriend pregnant. You know, I introduced her to this real good looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> I spent, um, I spent my junior year in college abroad, but you know, I never got quite used to the heels. <laughs> <laughs> I used, um, I used a home improvement loan to get a divorce. <laughs> of 
Such place does look better. <laughs> you like cats? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's a, it's a joke. I have, I have cats. I'll give you a hint. Uh, if you have cats, I finally got something that really, you know, gets rid of cat odors. A gun. <laughs> I may need some spackle and rug shampoo, but... <laughs> I was, um, was at a party. I was at a party and everyone got really, uh, really drunk. And they decided to go outside on the front lawn and have a contest, uh, you know, to see who could urinate the furthest. <laughs> and, and, and my wife won. <laughs> That's it for me. Enjoy the rest of the show.